welcome to another episode of Seven Days to Die. This is Nick from the Epic Film Guys, checking in from a whole new world. Where is this crazy place? This is uh, something I found in the Wasteland biome, way to the north. This is my crack of look. And so I've been looking for a working stiff tool, because I'm still trying to replace that pesky auger that I lost uh, several videos ago. Yeah, we can remove that, actually. And I stumbled upon this small town in the wasteland, and as soon as I drove in, boom, here it is. So I felt it was worth exploring in the video. We've got some zombie friends over here. We are also in the wasteland, so I can expect vultures and dogs to annoy me. But yeah, we're going to have some fun here. We're going to tear apart this whole thing and fortify it real strong. Or, you know, maybe not really strong, but... to see kind of what fun there is to be had here. I don't know if these zombies are really going to annoy me too much, so I'm not really going to mess with them. But we are. I go right inside here, and we're going to see... Yeah, we've already got one sleeper up. Hi. Got another one sleeping on the top of a shelf back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we've. I, I mean, I've got a lot of. Uh, well, not a lot. Not a lot of stuff, but just a few things I want to show you guys that I've managed to get upgraded. What was that? I hear you, zombies. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Just in case they did detect me and they decide they want to come over here and say hello. You know, I think that's just the sleeper sound. I think that's all that is. And look, oh, we got another. Oh, we got another guy over here. There are a lot of sleepers in this place. Get up! We still got that one on top of the shelf over there. And if you guys are familiar with what I used to do in... Oh, Alpha 15, you guys will be very familiar with... Oh, that's a spider. God damn it. How did it even hit my leg? I was crouched. Have we taken care of all the sleepers yet? Something tells me no. You know what the annoying thing is, is I don't actually think I have any splints on me. I typically do. But today, unfortunately, no. Luckily, we'll probably find some duct tape in here. Alright, let's just... Okay, nothing in here. And we'll have to chop our way into this back room here right quick and see if we got anything in here, because I'm sure we're going to have something. Oh, a cheerleader. A cheerleader sleeping on a tail. Oh, God! Oh, you're not dead. You didn't even have arms. How are you even going to attack me? Something tells me this game would still find a way. Oh, yeah, I'm overheated. I'm wearing my winter coat because I was hoping I would be able to stop in that winter area. But unfortunately, that was not to be. There was nothing there worth taking. Oh, shit. All right, come on, zombies. Let's, let's all get together out here in the yard. No, no. You stop crawling around. I'm being a jerk. Goodbye. And these ladies. I always forget to crouch. 
There we go. Uh, we got Okay. Now maybe we'll get a little bit of uh, work done here. Suppose we'll scrap these guys, even though I know I'm going to get a ton of crap that I don't need or want. And yeah, we are in the wasteland biome, which I'm not the biggest fan of, everybody knows. But you gotta go where the resources are, and I'm really hoping that one of these working stiff crates is going to provide me with a very... Did you see how many fucking cloth fragments that bag just gave me? 330. Holy shit. Well, we'll save those, because I'll need them to make splints if I can find any. Oh, I'm not hungry. Just junk, 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 junk. Good lord, man. Just, they gotta get this crap fixed, man. Oh, shit, we got a snake. Oh, is he dead? No, oh, he's dead. All right. We'll cut him up and we'll take some meat from him. God, it's been so long since I've actually seen a snake in the game, I forgot all about him. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. So there's duct tape right there so I can make my splints. I don't need the rest of those. And I mean, I throw those away, but you guys, if you've seen the collection of them I have back at my main base, you'll understand why. Oh, found another... Okay. So yeah, today's basically just going to be all about pillaging here. What was that? I knew it. This is why I hate the wasteland. Dogs. God, Jesus, I'm a terrible shot sometimes. You know, I wondered if there were sleepers on the roof, and now I know. Go away! Oh, it's a feral spider zombie. I was wondering why that thing took so many hits to kill. Huh. The ferals you can't really tell because you don't ever really get to see their eyes. Alright. Already a lot of dramatics and we haven't even really gotten a chance to get inside and start tearing stuff apart yet. Come on. Go away. What does this guy have on him? Anything good? Of course not. Those guys look like they're far enough away that they shouldn't cause me a problem. You know, I would love to get inside here at some point and start work. God. I've actually taken to scrapping a lot of zombies with my club because it actually destroys their their pile in one hit and it doesn't drop any nonsense. You know what we actually need for now? Let's drop the machete. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Probably can't eat that. No, nope, get rid of those. Schematics will save for a trader. See, I brought a lot of concrete with me, some rebar frames, because we're going to really shore this up. And kind of just take care of business here. Open that right up. I've got some work that's got to be done back at the main base yet, of course. And I've also done some work that I'm kind of eager to show you guys. I don't think we'll get back there today, though. My plan is to maybe stay in the city tonight. Depending on how well everything goes here. 
if I do find a... Well, an auger schematic! <laughs> Super! Uh, scrap, scrap, give me those. Oh yeah, let me keep these cloth fragments instead of taking mechanical parts. Mm-hmm. Bright. Very bright. I'm gonna need some more inventory space. I just... Drink this, please. Thank you. Well, we haven't even dug into any of the boxes yet or anything, but we already have to go back to the mini bike to drop stuff off. See that? Hubcap mine. Or it was just a regular hubcap. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're in the wasteland. You can never ever tell, so... Better safe than sorry. We're gonna bust down the main doors here. Open this building up completely before we seal it all back off again. There we go. Get rid of these. So we've kind of emptied things out here into the mini bike a little bit. As usual, I'm going to go way overboard with all of my looting, scrapping, you name it. But this is what we do. This is just the way it goes, man. You've got to completely strip every POI. Or at least not everyone, but I mean the good ones. The ones that are actually worth stripping, that is. And we've got to get our roof access here, so we'll get a ladder going. I think I, I think this is like seven total. Let's see what we got here. Oh right, this is stone. Wondering if there are any other sleepers up here. I guess we'll find out in a second here. Ooh. Oh. No, we're just gonna shovel this. Oh, it still gave me a hundred and seven. Jesus. I also don't need that headlight. A lot of stuff I've got so much back at the base now that it's just really redundant to take it anymore. Electrical parts and stuff, of course, we always need because of all the electrical work I'm doing. So those are a must-have, but a lot of this stuff, just pointless. Well, at least that's a realistic amount of scrap. I thought I saw a vulture. Might just be a stain on the monitor. Alright, so now we've created our access ooh, give me that. We've created our access point to get into the top part there. So now all we gotta do is just close off the rest of the structure. Let me do that and I'll be right back.
All right, we are good to go as far as corpses are concerned. Like I said, I well, I did get a blunt weapons level too. You saw there, but that way I don't have to pick up any of that stupid bones or meat until they fix that. I mean, even once they fix it, it's probably still a good thing to keep doing because. God, zombies are just... I've got so much rotten flesh, I've got so many bones now. And that's not even including the, like, I don't know, 500 bones I've probably already turned into duct tape. This is the first working stiff tool that I've found. I have not found anything else. I mean, I found, like, a hardware shop somewhere once. I think it was in that desert town I found a few videos back when I just kind of ventured out and about to try to find another POI, but I never ended up looting that. I never ended up going back there, so I don't know. I mean, it's probably not going to have as much stuff in it as this place will. Or at least I wouldn't think so. And this, I mean, it, with all the changes that they did in Alpha 16, this still looks pretty much the same. Same exact layout, so, I mean, they didn't change everything. Just, you know, most things. Let's see what we can find here. I'm going to save those boxes for last, because they're the most important to me. Uh, I don't need that. And it's going to drop me cloth fragments that I also don't need, but I think what we'll do, since I have two more rolls of duct tape, is we'll just make some more splints out of them instead. There we go. Perfect. Actually, I can make even more duct tape out of that glue as well. Get. Whatever. 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 I don't really technically need that moldy bread because I actually just converted all my shame sandwiches in to moldy bread and then I made antibiotics. I've got like a ton of antibiotics back at the main base now, so I don't really need any of that nonsense anymore either. We'll hang on to it though for now. More duct tape. Yeah, whatever. Good way of getting rid of it, I guess. Gimme. Gimme. Oh, right, that's nothing. No, that's right, you can't do anything with that either. I forget these things sometimes. All oh, right. Gives you the wood sound, but it's still a sink, so you still gotta... got some faucets, but we gotta get rid of these stupid springs, these stupid pipes. I honestly don't really even need the murky water or the glass jars, to be honest. We're gonna hang on to the regular water for obvious reasons now, but I, I've just made like a thousand glass jars back at the main base for use in like a ton of projects, so. So always that balancing act of what do I keep, what do I get rid of, what do I still need, and what can I live without? And unfortunately, a lot of this stuff is just... I've already got tons of it. And it's just kind of redundant for me to keep collecting it. Even though I am... I mean, if you guys have seen these videos, so you know I'm a bit of a hoarder in this game. But I'm going to keep the pasta as well. Probably chew on that. If we do end up staying here or maybe back in the other city where the... Crackabook headquarters is. You guys know I found two other types of Crackabook stores in that same exact town. There's like a two-story one that looks kind of like a castle, and then there's your regular old standard working stiff tools. Or not working stiff tools, um, Crackabook. So it's, it's just weird, man. Weird, weird, weird. Give me this. Electric parts, electric components, always a good time. I do not need paper. Get out. And this will just do for the mechanical parts. Unfortunately, when the uh, biofuel was removed from the game, I unfortunately lost access to that chest that contained all of my electronic components, mechanical parts, and whatnot. So, Jesus, God, stupid garbage. Go away. Money? Money! Money, 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 money! Yeah. 
You know I mean, you guys will remember, or maybe you don't, but I have loot spawning off, so if, for whatever reason you're seeing this video for the first time and you're like, why is he destroying literally everything? It's because I have loot spawning turned off. Loot respawning, I should say, not loot spawning. <laughs> So yeah, there is no more loot. Once I loot a place, it's done and over with. We don't need that. And nothing in there. I was hoping for some beer at least. Come on. Still a great tragedy in my life that you cannot loot those things out. It drives me nuts. I have to go outside and deposit what I can in the mini bike. Get ready to come in here and kind of finish things up. Get out. Oh, it didn't collapse. Usually it collapses. Thought I heard a zombie. Yeah, I am. Well, thrilled that it didn't collapse, but I mean, kind of want it to collapse, though. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna give me sand. Oh, we're gonna scrap that basket. We'll keep the we'll keep that far better basket. <laughs> Instead. And yeah, same thing with this one. We'll knock these down. I'm actually gonna replace these with concrete supports. One of those was a flagstone block. Hmm. Intriguing. I know I waste a lot of materials on doing stuff like this, and I don't care. Cool thing is, this will be completely shut up. And then, if I ever want to, I can come back in here and kind of raid it, but... Kill the sleepers again, but there's not really any need. Alright, so it looks like the only thing we've got left is shelving, and we've got our boxes. So I'm going to go outside really quickly here. We're going to ditch whatever we can on the mini bike first before we get too much more involved and in tearing stuff apart here. Have I mentioned I love 3D ladders? It makes them so much easier to see now. I think this is a salon over here next door. Yeah, it's a salon. I wonder what you find in a salon. Have to go over there and find out, I guess. This is stupid. <laughs> Sad thing is, most of what we've got in here is just kind of... I shouldn't have stopped at the Cracker Book and picked up all this nonsense, but I did, sadly. And, ooh, got another padlock that's better than the one I have on the bike. Hmm. Well, you know what we're going to do? trying to be diplomatic here. We're going to try to balance our needs here. I don't need that barrel. I'll be 100% honest, I don't even really need this animal hide. Because I've got about 500 of those back at the base. These will save because, I mean, my padlock's not in the best of shape. And the shopping basket, you can't just do a straight-up swap because all this stuff will disappear. At least, I know that used to be the way it was. I don't know if it still is, but I'm not going to find out right now. We'll take these vitamins. We're going to ditch this glue. And we're going to ditch... Yeah, we'll ditch this duct tape, too. It's fine. It's fine. Gunpowder is always a good thing to hang on to, no matter what. We're going to get a hell of a lot more iron in here. Moldy bread, screw it. Antibiotics, electronic components, leather. All right, there we go. So now the inventory is looking a little bit more manageable. And yeah, goodbye, all the nonsense. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to craft a sign to put up here myself, or just some lettering. Uh, let's see. Let's 
see. What should we call this? What should we call this? We're going to call this... Stiff Outpost. We're going to nerd pole up here and stick this signage on the front here. I was going to say, did it not make the other one? It did. I'm just stupid and can't see. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. And even though it won't really be an outpost... Like a good screen grab. Yeah. Stiff outpost. <laughs> I actually don't even ever really destroy these, but the plastic pieces and stuff that it's going to give me and the electronic components. Way too valuable in Alpha 16 to ignore, so I can't really leave them there. Okay, we're going to take these signposts down, and then this will basically be nothing. And we're not going to leave anything here, but I mean, if for whatever reason, like if I want to do some fun tests of some kind later or whatever, I can run a Horde Knight from here. Just see what, like, let the zombies, like, really have at it with the building. Let them really go to town on it. Or, you know, whatever else. I've at least got it. And it's all set up for me. So, yeah. There we go. Alright. Eh. Uh, you know what? I can scrap that streetlight from up top of the building. Should I? Eh. Gimme. Gimme. Alright. I can see that you want to be stubborn. Give it to me. down. This is an obscene amount of iron that I'm getting to for these things. Anybody need scrap iron for anything? I don't know if I can make anything else. with. I, sh I should make some cool stuff with some scrap iron. Oh, we got a vulture. I really do not feel like messing with him right now, even though I do have a sniper rifle. I've actually never shot a vulture with a rifle before. I'm not going to, because I don't want to try to waste ammo trying to shoot the damn thing down. Because knowing me, I'll miss. So we're going to actually play it smart for once, guys. <laughs> all right. Uh, hold on for me here, and we're going to buzz through removing all of this shelf work. Hang on.
Uh, all right, guys, it's time. I think I saved the boxes for last because I don't know. It's like Christmas or something. Who knows? But let's see what kind of fun stuff we got in here. I can't believe I complete. I just remembered out of nowhere. I was like, I have antibiotics for that infection that I had. <laughs> Junk. Not looking promising so far, guys. And we got this guy. Just a bunch of junk because I can't even. We still is there crawlers outside? Like that wandering horde came by, and it was only because I went outside that they actually stopped. They actually didn't realize I was here. And then I decided to take them out, and they were like, "Oh yeah." Auger parts, baby. So we're halfway there. We just need an auger blade now. You know where I had an auger blade? In that box I can't get into now. Two more left here. One. Well, you know what? Those are pretty decent auger parts. So usually the trader will have either auger parts or an auger blade for sale. One of the two. So, we'll call this a win for now. Get out and get out. And fine, we'll hang on to the springs for the moment, I guess. But that's it. The stiff outpost is clean. Officially. Aside from these. Like, I hear... I hear... It sounds like a crawler to me. And I don't know where the hell it is. Maybe I woke up a sleeper in another building or something because of the shots I was firing or something. I have no idea. <sighs> out. 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 Alright, well that's it for... Yeah, like I said, the stiff outpost. That's done. So let's go see what else we can find in this town. And I will speed through that as well. Hang on, guys. Man, yet another one of these skyscrapers. You know, I, I like the skyscrapers and stuff, but... I mean, seriously, that's three cities I have that are all, like, within, like, a kilometer of each other that each have a Dishong Tower, that each have... Am I gone funeral home? That each have the, the crack -a book headquarters there. And, and now this one's also got a regular crack -a book too. I mean, they just throw these regular crack -a books and all this different stuff at you. I think we may stop at that regular crack -a book here. And see what we can't find in there. We've got Joey's used cars. We've got a cafe. Like, I love all the variation of the POIs now. I think it's amazing. I love it. But, Jesus, guys. Maybe there's a way that they can spawn an exception. What the hell? Oh, that was weird. That looked like boxes. Because they hadn't rendered completely when I first drove through. What is that? We got a food... Mo that's the, that's the like little outpost there. I just saw a vulture take off. We're going to go this way. Cut through the nonsense here. What is this? Oh, I found the booby trap. Wonder what I'll find in there. Oh, it's a movie theater. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Yep. Girls, girls, girls. I do believe we're going to go back to that. Oh, boy. We got a military base. Shit! <laughs> okay. Oh. Here, the real question is, did it also destroy my mini bike? That is the real question. <laughs> oh. I mean, the backpack had the auger parts in it, so I guess that's the more important of the two. Backpack. Well, what did the, yeah. What else did I even have on the mini bike? I had all my money on the mini bike, so it's not like a. I don't know. Not happy. <sighs> Let's see if that mini bike is actually still over here. I need to go get the backpack, obviously. Anyway, but I. Yeah, I don't see the mini bike anywhere. So I think the mini bike's gone, guys. 
Which, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I did run over two landmines, so it makes sense that the mini bike would be destroyed. But nonetheless, I still need those freaking auger parts and whatever. Look at this. We got burnt forest. I'm just going to beeline straight here. Actually, you know what I can do? If the mini bike's destroyed, then I'm going to need another one anyway. So let's just go downstairs and disassemble my mini bike that I've got down here in the basement. And we'll just take this mini bike back over there. As soon as I noticed that was an army base, too, I was like, oh, shit. And then... My forges aren't burning, but for once, I'm not going to be worried about that. And give me this chassis. Thank you. And did I have that basket on my part? No, I put the basket in the mini bike, too. So the basket's gone. Yeah, I'm going to need to find a new basket somewhere else. At least my nail gun and, like, my auger parts. Like, that important stuff was on my person. That's by far the more important stuff. So that's what I really care the most about. Whew, Jesus, what a pain in my freaking ass. fuel should be fine and just because we're gonna take a weapon with us that's not the weapon box uh well i guess that sniper rifle is just about screwed too but i can't leave it i can't leave it behind take our old trusty compound bow with us but at least we have something to protect us against the hordes for now that's exactly why I put that thing down there. Where was that on the... One of these other stupid icons is blocking the damn thing. I think it's like... Yeah, it's northwest. I, that's what I figured it was. One of, the, one of the other icons is blocking the damn thing or something. But I was going to say, where the hell is my mini bike? <laughs> There it is. Very faintly make out the little tiny blue speck there on the compass. Yeah, we're just going to traverse straight over land here, so hang with us, guys. Another traitor. I need to mark this on the map here. Thought I saw a dog over there, but it was just a pile of cinder blocks. We'll call him Burnt Traitor. There we go. That's kind of. I found a lot of traitors in this game, and none of them are really particularly terribly far from my base. All right, back on the road we go. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the POI that I've already been to. I think that's that town that I've already been to down there. Part in the burnt forest, part in the plains there on the backside. So that looks like that town that I, like where the bank is and whatnot. <sighs> Super. So we're actually going to turn around and we're going to go the other way. Actually, let's look at the map here. Because I don't know... Actually, yeah. Let's let's hit this road the opposite direction here and see if we can't maybe turn it back toward the northwest or the west. We'll see if we can't find our way back. Hang on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that mini bike icon is still there. My mini bike's still here, guys. 
Oof. All right, well, we need to approach with caution. We need to kind of uh, come up with a an idea for how we want to do this here. First of all, am I clear from vultures? No. Uh, vultures are not going to make this any easier because I only have a bow right now. I have my club, obviously, in my gear once I can pick it up, but... As long as he kind of stays out of my way for the, a moment. And, of course, I'm a terrible shot. Yeah, see, this is what I'm afraid of, is these frickin' vultures coming in and attacking me before I get a chance to hit, what, three different mines coming across the frickin' wasteland there? I, have I ever mentioned I hate the wasteland, guys? I also hate zombies with this stupid walking pattern. Twitchy, as JC would call them. Okay. Uh, now. I don't... Oh, he's back there behind that building. So I don't... I don't really know what the best way to approach here is. If I go out behind this building kind of the way that I approached already, I think maybe that's the smartest option because... Well, in theory, I already took everything out. But, uh, like, I hit two mines over there. So I'm thinking maybe if I go that way... No vultures, no vultures. All right. Well, this would still be part of the milkshake place POI. So hopefully we're okay. Just try it very carefully, guys. Of course, we have a stupid vulture right frickin' there. Look at all these mines that I still have in the area. Just very carefully. And we need to... Nah, drop! Where, where, where? Now we got our gear, so let's retreat for one hot second here. And let's get geared up, and let's get that club in hand, because I'm just worried these vultures are going to come in and hit me. Where, where? Where? I'm kind of surprised, I'm not going to lie, that the, that the mini bike is actually still here. It does leave me with the unfortunate conundrum of what do I do with the other mini bike now? Because now I'm going to have two mini bikes here, and because of how full my inventory is, I can't break one of them down and take it back. So. Hmm. This Burger Shake Shack place is kind of cool. I like it. I go in with the club. Fully expecting stupid vultures to be stupid. Oh boy. At least you made a lot of noise, so I knew you were coming. Whew. Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. Whew. So, there's no real good way to do this except for just to do it, so... Alright, get over here and we're gonna just try to grab the mini bike. And... Immediately steer this way. There we go. Alright, so there we go. Oof! Alright. Mini bike recovered. See what do I have in here? Because I mean, we've got so. Oh, you know what? I could put these on the other bike. I mean, it's well. Hmm. I <laughs> I don't really know what to do with these two mini bikes now. What I'm thinking I should do is I should try to move. I've got some gas in here. Let's actually take this and let's fuel up the other one. Pop 
possibly against my better judgment we'll stick the auger parts right on here oh, we got another 6,000 iron So I'm thinking what we may have to do here, which is annoying, but there's not really a better way to do it, is we may have to move, like, I'll move... Actually, where's... Where's it? I never marked it on the map, so I have no idea where the hell that damn POI is that I just cleared out. Is it over here? Yep, it's right here. Now we're going to head back on foot, and we're going to go grab the other bike and kind of try to just move it out of the area. That zombie is still over there, that crawler, whatever the hell it was, that I never ended up killing or clearing out of there before. I'm ready for you, bird. You want to mess with me? I am not scared. Bunch of random freaking zombies. don't really want to stop for too much here. I want to kind of get this other bike and keep moving. Where's my other bike? Oh, that's where that cracker book is. What's up, big gay? so damn big, I just don't even remember where the hell anything is. Come here! Hey! <whistles> oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> Another pit. Oh, the other mini bike's gonna be, like, right over there. I forgot I set that. Quick flag. Why am I only getting one mini bike icon though? Typically they give you more than one. Like they'll give you an icon for every mini bike. Get out of here. Don't even care what he has. Oh, now it's showing it to me since I'm a little bit closer to it. So, <laughs> uh, boy. When's our next horde night? Night 42. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, good. I destroyed it with a club and I only got one. Go to see some adult movies and then you can stop by the strip club after your show. Or vice versa. Depends on what you want to do. Right. Should actually probably... Oh, yeah, I do have some water. Let's take this. And let's... <sighs> Eat this. And let's eat the soup. And let's drink all this water. We can actually ditch these. Get out. We can actually ditch these jars as well. When we're done. Because I don't need all these stupid jars. Alright, well, you know what? Since we're over here, real quick. I'm going to take the opportunity to search every single one of these cars. Because that is where I found the first auger, if you remember. It was in the trunk of a car on, like, day three. Oh, good, a hubcap. Maybe I can make a hubcap mine. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe, just maybe we'll get lucky here. And, of course, I'm not yet at all. Get... on my head again now. Dick. Get. Out. Can I not destroy that with that thing? I know you could shoot them.
But for some reason, the bow doesn't trigger them, I'm guessing. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> Anything? I swear, I, I've heard scavenging is bugged in this game, and I really think that it is because... It seems to me that the higher my scavenging skill gets, the less uh, times I actually find stuff. Jesus. I hear you, zombie. Guessing he's inside the diner. And I don't really give a shit. Eh, yeah, wrench. Goodbye. What else am I scrapping that I can't? Oh, damn it. Come on. I'll let you right out. Come on out. Come on. Let's go. I'm right here. <laughs> he's like caught on something. I don't know what he's seeing again, but there we go. He's dead. <sighs> Sad thing is we're gonna get stuck here at night. I am not gonna be able to get out of the city before it gets too late here. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do since I found that crack a book again on the way out of here, we're actually just gonna stop there. That'll be where I post up for the night. That's my that's my POI right there. Boobage. There are two strip clubs in this town. You perverts. Where is this god no I can't find where it is. There it is. Let's say you watch now, I'm not gonna be able to find where the damn thing is. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I freaking... Oh, I'm so stupid. How did I miss him? Of course, he hit me again. Son of a bitch. Uh, wonder what happens when I destroy this thing with an axe. Oh, that was a pickaxe. And I got nothing. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm getting screwed here. On just stuff in general. Shit. Shit, 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 get out of the fucking menu! Where you at? I don't know where he is. Oh, shoo. Come on. God damn vultures. I'm like scaring the ever-loving shit out of me. Wow. These guys are not dying as quickly as they once did. I don't know why. If you don't come back, I'm shooting your ass out of the sky. Eh. I'm even going to go pick up his fucking corpse because I don't care. Alright, we got to get inside of this. Yeah, we got to get inside here. Before it gets too late. Sleepers be damned. We got to go. Okay, 
so the sleepers didn't spawn until after I got inside. Thank you. Super helpful, friendly. Thank you. Shitty's feral. <laughs> man, feral zombies are not cool, man. Bathroom? Anybody? Oh. Wake up. Office, that's right. I hate it when the game like gets a little stutter step like that, because it usually means that it's spawning zombies. Oh, I haven't checked the roof yet. sure to have some sleepers up there as well. That was not the right piece of the ladder. Alright, so now we need a frickin' ladder piece. Yep. That looks amazing. That's gonna bug me. I gotta fix the whole damn thing now. There we go. So I, need, I don't know. I'm gonna need like some for the inside too, so let's just build a bunch. show up right now, I'll be fine. <laughs> Sleepers? Sleepers! Anybody? Well, as I said, guys, this is where we're going to end up posting up for the night. After more than a few dramatics. Fortunately, everything seems to be okay now in terms of... Well, in terms of just everything. Yeah, this is where we are going to end up posting up for the night. We're going to secure this place and clear it out just the way we did with that working sieve tool. And hopefully, I'm looking for a sniper rifle schematic most of all in this place because my sniper rifle is in desperate need of repairs. So, in the meantime, I'm going to finish all that stuff off camera. So I'll see you guys for the next episode, which should should be back home. I'm going to have to go through this long, convoluted process of either A, kind of moving each mini bike back a little bit, running back, getting the other one, etc. 
or take the one all the way back and then run all the way back here and then get the other one. I will honestly probably do the former. I'm not going to lie. So that way I could stick more to roads, even though I could stick to roads the other way too, but it's fine. So as night sets here in the Suobai, I'm trying to say goodbye on the video. Oh, look at that. We got another sleeper over there too. What the? It's like a whole second round of sleepers spawned in here just because I went outside and came back in. That infuriates me. Probably couldn't spawn another zombie there because the puddle of the first one's still freaking there. All right, now, for, like, the fourth time, thank you guys very, very much for watching. It's always great to have you here. She was feral anyway, so she would have been running no matter what. And we have no water, and I need to take pain pill. Oh, God damn it. I don't know how well this night's going to go, guys. This might not be a good night for me here in the city. <laughs> so, <laughs> in the meantime, before something else attacks me, I suppose I'll stay still here and say thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button. Please share. Please subscribe. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much for continuing to check out the videos and supporting the channel. I will see you guys next time. Have a great one. Cheers.